Last season, we featured the story of Kristen, a teacher who adopted two girls from India who were considered unadoptable due to facial defects. This is a refresher of their story. I wanted to be a mom, so I started looking to international adoption. I saw her face. I just thought, this is your daughter. She had a lot of scarring, and she had a very traumatic history. <gasps> you were home a month. I said, you know, I think I'm supposed to adopt another child. She was found in a garbage pile. The animals have chewed off her nose. I just stared at her picture, and I knew. And I think, how oh, am I so blessed that I get to be their mom? They're amazing. We actually have a little surprise for you. It would be an honor and a delight to make a nasal prosthesis for you, Rupa, free of charge. And Dr. John Mendelson is going to provide cosmetic scar procedures for Mooney completely free of charge. That was just over a year ago on this stage. Since then, both Mooney and Rupa have recovered from their procedures. Rupa has a new prosthetic nose, and Mooney's scars have been diminished. Are you all ready to see them again? I know yeah. I saw These are pictures of the girls before, and they join us now. Come on out, girls. So I, it was such an honor meeting all three of you on the stage just over a year ago. Thank you. It was an honor to be here and obviously incredibly emotional. Get emotional thinking about everything that we've gone through and it's been so amazing. It's just the generosity and both the doctors, Dr. John and Dr. Greg, they were willing to do whatever it took to make sure that we got to where we are and it's just, it just blows me away, you know, and just... Well, there's a lot of love in the story, and speaking of <laughs> us now, our Mooney and Rupa's doctors, facial anaplastologist Dr. Gregory Guion and facial plastic surgeon Dr. John Mendelson. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you, not only for being here, but for, for what you've done for these two beautiful young girls. <laughs> and and I, I, you really are. Dr. Dr. Guion, I want to ask you, this prosthesis that you that you've used, uh, I, yeah, we'd never know. Incredible. How, how did you go about doing that? Well, thank you. The challenge is to make a prosthesis for a person that you know is gonna have to manage it every day. And so I give a lot of credit to Rupa and the whole family, and Kristen especially, for, you know, for taking that challenge on, because it's not easy. You know, I can make the prosthesis look really good, but for her to manage it, put it on each day, and make it look just right is, you know, is a challenge. This is an example of someone without their prosthesis. This is the prosthesis, and it's actually adhered on. So it's kept on with either uh, magnets or adhesives, like in Rupa's case. And then it's, it's you know, kept on all day and then taken off each day. Really quickly, over time, then, will you modify the prosthesis with, yeah, absolutely. with growth? Sure, as she grows, um, as her skin color changes, as the prosthesis wears out, She'll, you know, she'll be coming back for replacements and redesign prostheses.